So I am pretty excited to have the Baron back with us finally. Uh, I have a special shout out to a j Aviation for all their hard work. There'll be a link down below if you need any avionics work done, be sure to check them out. Also, uh, right here below is a link to their Instagram. Now their Instagram doesn't show a whole lot, but it's a good bookmark and hopefully after talking to them, they're gonna uh, start updating their Instagram a little more. So there's a whole lot of things that you can and can't see with the upgrades to the airplane. Uh, things you can see is the MaxViz camera, the Alpha Systems AOA. We changed out the IFD to uh, from a 440 to a 540. And we went ahead and changed out uh, and added the Aspen E5 to the systems. Things you can't see is, well, we took away the transponder. Transponder's gone now, it's now a remote transponder. Also added active traffic. And uh, we changed out all of our engine gauges to the JPI, and then we added things like the size fuel senders, which you can't see. So uh, enough of me talking about it. Let's go ahead and uh, look, take a look at the Aspen on today's flight. So welcome aboard, welcome to the, uh, what would you call this, the um, reveal of the new panel. So as we mentioned before, there's a lot you can and a lot you cannot see, uh, but you can clearly see here, we pulled out the 440, went with a 540, have the uh, transponders removed, we're now internal transponders, so that's all in here, we'll discuss that on another flight. Get rid of all the engine gauges, everything here is in the JPI, um, right here. And of course, we've added the Aspen um, for our primary display. You also notice this up here, the Alpha Systems AOA. And again, we'll discuss that on another flight. And a cool little feature here with the uh, MaxViz, uh, which again, we'll discuss on another flight, is gonna be the camera, kind of like you see on the Cirruses, for the infrared to be able to see in low visibility. So today we're headed off to Vero Beach for some breakfast. Get some chow chow, and because uh, you're not gonna be able to eat on this flight, because you're gonna have to wait till we get to food. I literally thought about bringing a snack. <laughs> Crown Band three one seven five whiskey with golf at the two hundred hangars. Like to taxi to the active for a VFR northeast departure. Number three one seven five whiskey Pondo Gordy Ground. Thank you. Runway four taxi via Foxtrot Delta. Runway four via Foxtrot Delta seven five whiskey. All right, so no more little suction cup here anymore. Is we... Chris down there? Yes, it is. I haven't heard you for a while, Chris. <laughs> oh, I've been here. Just You probably hear a lot of me in uh, the Alpha Tango airplanes. Ah, uh, changing the flavor, huh? Yeah, just trying to fly as much as I can. You know how it is. It's your, it's your passion. Absolutely. Nice hearing your voice again. That's oh, nice hearing yours. Uh, that was cool. So no more um, suction cup here. We now have a altitude alerter here. I just press the little button on the bottom and I can adjust my altitude. So we're going VFR eastbound. So that would be odd plus 500. So we'll climb up to 5,500 will be our target. So I'll put the heading bug on, uh, the altitude bug on 5,500. And there's a heading bug here. Right now we have that set for runway four and there's that. Don't really have a uh, set speed I want to climb, but just for argument's sake, I'll set the speed bug so you can see it. To we'll set it to we'll call it 140 for a nice cruise climb. But that plane was upside down. I know. <laughs> Actually, so we saw it taxi over, and I've never seen. It taxi and it has a the 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 end that has it sitting on the ground now but no has a has a wheel that collapses so that it can sit like that and I'm watching it going oh god what's happening what's happening uh, yeah it's called the long easy it's a kit plane they're pretty cool uh like Martin has his hobby of going into every major airport my my goal is to be in like every type of plane <laughs> At least once, so I know what I don't like. You and every aviator. Correction midfield right and down when uh, I don't want to take you out too far. You're following go Bosch traffic on a four mile left base. Number 3175 Whiskey, runway four, cleared for takeoff, wind calm. Runway four, cleared for takeoff, seven five Whiskey. All right, we are clear right. 
Do you want, he's doing a touch and go, right? Whiskey, uh, no delay with your roll. Traffic just inside the 75. All right, no delay. 75 Whiskey. The traffic in front of me, he's turning left or right, please. He's going uh, right, right turn out. Roger, 75 Whiskey. All right. Two kilo, which way are you headed? Gage is in the green. Wait. We are headed south, 72 kilo. I think he said he's headed south. Yeah. Fuel flow. Airspeed a lot. 7182 Whiskey's going missed. 7182 Whiskey, and, um, which way are you headed? You said you're headed north? Affirmative north, 82 Whiskey. Okay, I got a Baron on the go heading that direction too. He's a little bit faster than you are, so just uh, okay. follow and maintain VFR. Just a little bit. Follow the Baron, maintain VFR, 82 Whiskey. Uh, pause the rig, you're up. And November 572 Kilo, you can make that right turn out south mountain traffic entering back entering the downwind there as a Cherokee at midfield. Uh, busy morning. Oh, oh yeah. All right, we got GPS steering, so I'll put this on GPSS. <sighs> Ready? Can I go to Tower 75 when Romeo? Uh, nine miles. RPM is back to 2500 RPM. With golf landing, 751 Romeo. November 751 Romeo, report the midfield right downwind, runway four. The uh, ground guy, ground ATC, I think he works mornings, and that's why we haven't, I haven't heard him in a really long time. Yeah. I know you probably do, but... 3175 uh, Whiskey, uh, avoid Shell Creek if you can. The, they are They are hot, one is airborne. All right, uh, we'll uh, go ahead and continue a little more north and to avoid them. Seven levels. The seven one eight to two whiskey, the same. If you're heading northeast down there, avoid Shell Creek, please. We're turning north down now. Eight whiskey. Shell Creek is hot. All right, I'm gonna pull the mixtures back from climb. I touched it. We're bringing the EGTs uh, about thirteen fifty, thirteen twenty-five. So the Aspen's still fairly new to me, and uh, so I'm gonna give you my initial impression. I was getting tired of the old gauges, kind of like uh, we have right here. I wanted to modernize the cockpit a little bit, and of course I'm on a budget. So I have to you know, choose accordingly what I can afford and can't afford. And so then the options that were in my budget were basically came down to, to two options. Uh, one is the Aspen. Come into the midfield left. And the other is the... And the other is the uh, Garmin uh, G5 series. So uh, I decided between trying to decide between the two, and I basically went with the Aspen uh, for a few reasons. Uh, the simplest of which is I like the idea of it being a one unit that that replaces versus two units. Um, also, from what I understand, the how they interact and interconnect is a little more seamless than the than the G5 series. Um, so I kind of, uh, and for the price point, I kind of couldn't argue it um, for what I needed. And it, it met everything that I needed, which was, um, you know, top of my list. So that's why I chose the Aspen. Now, let's talk about what I like. I love this screen. I love how big this screen is right here in comparison to the old, um, you know, the old attitude indicator. It, it actually makes flying a lot easier. I've got all my information I need. Right here, I got my airspeed tape, I got my attitude, I've got my uh, altitude, I've got my true airspeed, my ground speed, my outside air temperature. It'll actually give uh, wing corrections. And of course, I got my heading and my HSI all right here as well. And it gives me all the info for messages and what have you from the GPS. It shows up on here. Uh, it also has GPS steering, uh, which I've now added by having this. So I just hit this little GPS button right here, and that lights up, and that puts me into GPS steering mode. Of course, right now I'm in heading mode. Uh, changing my altimeter is simple. I just press this arrow button, and as I adjust it, you can see the altimeter changing here. Pretty simple. If I want to change my heading, I just turn the knob, and it changes my heading. And if I want to change my altitude bug, I just press it, and then when it highlights it, purple, and then I can adjust that. So it's really simple to use. I thought it was gonna be harder to get used to. Um, one of the reasons why I really wanted, now with only one unit, you still have to have backups. If I went with a dual, I wouldn't. I was nervous that I 
would um, be so reliant on flying with this, these airspeed indicators and altimeter that I would um, be defaulting to them. But I've quickly learned that I got come, uh, pretty used to this, uh, I'd say almost right away, and, and now I barely look over there and I fly by it. So uh, shooting approaches, which uh, maybe we're seeing low open approach on this, is actually really easy. All the info shows up right here on the um, attitude display. So it makes flying an approach uh, even easier. So those are the things I like. Some of the things that, that so far I wish was a little different is I don't have any altitude alert. It doesn't give me any bings or anything. When I am uh, when I'm approaching my altitude, I do wish it did that. I know the higher end units do that, so it is an option. I just wish this unit did it. Um, I also don't like that I can only have one GPS unit attached to this. So I have a solution for that. I have a switch here that I can choose between my 550 and 540 on what feeds this. Um, but it uh, would be nice if they both could feed it at the same time. Um, but this is kind of an introductory to me, um, to the Aspen units. And then depending on you know, what my opinion is and, and what I like and don't like, then I may choose to, to upgrade uh, to a, a higher end unit, um, just depending on, you know, how, how this works out for me. And so, so that's my raw initial impression of it. And of course, you know, in throughout my videos, I'll show how it works and we'll, we'll go through all of that. Um, and you'll just see it in use and then, uh, we'll, we'll both get to learn it better uh, as we go. Fair Beach Airport information, echo, time 1253 Zulu, wind 160 at 3, visibility 10, sky clear below 1,000. Temperature 29 or dew point 24, altimeter 3002. GPS runway 12 right approaching you, landing in the parting runway 12 right zero and runway 12 left. Notice there. So you can see at 5,500 feet, we're cruising along, we got 181 knot true airspeed with an outside air temperature of 22 degrees Celsius. And that's giving us a ground speed of 176. So you can see we changed out the panel. There's no more wood in here. We went with a black finish to kind of make the gauges feel like they are just kind of floating there, mixed in. So I'm kind of digging the uh, the whole black panel. It's all one piece now where these were actually two separate pieces before. Three, yeah. One, yeah. two, yeah, this three. This was two, right, and then there's a third there. So. So A and J Aviation did a, a fantastic job. As I mentioned before, if you're thinking about getting some avionics, um, check them out. Give them a call. They um, they do really good work, and there's a link down below. And you can also bookmark them on Instagram um, at A and A and J Aviation. You can see it right here. And uh, they don't, don't put a whole lot on their Instagram. I keep trying to talk to them about that, but they keep promising me they're going to change that. <laughs> but if nothing else, uh, at least just bookmark it. So when you're like, well, what was the name of that shop? You'll have it in your Instagram, and you can always uh, refer to it at a later date. All right, let's Where's begin our descent. Have one. <sighs> Testing one, five zero, Julie, Juliet, Juliet Vera Beast Tower, continue. I'm hungry. You hungry? I'm excited to look at a four-page breakfast menu. <laughs> hey, they supposedly have really great French toast. Well, Remember, you and I were talking about French toast the other day. I know. I guess I have to be the judge of it. I know. That's why I was like, oh, this is perfect. It does sound really good. I'm starving. I want to say it was like, it was like banana stuff or something. So good. Yeah. Sierra Tower, Baron 3175, Whiskey is 10 to the southwest, inbound with Foxtrot. 3175, Whiskey, Baron Beach Tower, straight in, runway 12 right. Straight in, 12 right, 75, Whiskey. Now, Scott, let's use just stay in the upwind, so I'm going to call the crosswind. So you can see right here, so stay on the upwind, we have the approach loaded, the there's our glide the slope. And then turn left crosswind, as you, you will tell us, Skype at 04. And but there's our, approved, runway one, two left, our localizer. Approved, cleared for touch and go, one, two left, satellite 658. 75 Whiskey, say type back, Baron, uh, 75 Whiskey. 75 Whiskey, you're following, um, I think it's an arrow star, 12 o'clock, 2 miles, 5 I'm miles, final at 1600. Uh, traffic in sight, 75 Whiskey. We'll turn towards him. That way, when we get there, he won't be there. 
You said he was a Cherokee? Aerostar. Oh, Aerostar. Sky flight 444. Uh, All right, blow 154 knots, flaps approach, one, two, three, four, five. Flight 444, roger, trap 44, go behind them. You're going down. And you can tell that traffic. I saw them. right towards the field. Turning towards fields, I thought it was good. Julia, Julia, turn right, Charlie 5, contact ground. You got him still? I got him. Over the ground, thanks. Sky flight 204, turn left cross. Probably out. Left cross, on sky flight 204. Sky flight 444, make straight in for runway 12 right. Follow that Saratoga. You can maneuver uh, as necessary. Got him in sight. Increase your speed a little bit. I got a Saratoga about a mile behind you coming in a little bit quicker. Okay, 444, uh, increase speed. No, that wasn't for 444. That was for 75 Whiskey, increase speed. All right, 75 Whiskey will speed up. Four Papa Hotel, you on? I said it wrong. Right, Four Hotel Papa, you on? Hotel Papa's up. Well, Hotel Papa, you're following a Baron, 1 o'clock, about a mile, uh, 1300 on final. He's speeding up. you number two, runway 1 2 right, clear to land. Clear Only speed up so much, but. Road approach approved, right. 1 2 left, clear to land, Scott, flight 204. We got the Saratoga behind us? Is that what I'm understanding? Something like that. Let's turn into a busy approach real fast. <laughs> Alright, time is up. Start slowing down now. Alright, we're three green. Your flaps approach. Our pilot is away. Slow down. In the white arc. Flaps land. Flaps flight 658. If you want another short approach, extend out to the river to make left traffic. Make this one a normal landing. Flaps flight 658. Roger that. It's always so busy when we come over here. Ah. <laughs> Don't come with. Nice. Excellent. Oh, look at that. The peanut gallery back there. Give me a. 75 Whiskey said parking. Uh, for the restaurant, 75 Whiskey. 75 Whiskey, turn right onto Charlie 4. Give way to that uh, jet. Uh, you'll see him coming down Charlie off your right side. Give way to them and then straight ahead to the restaurant. Charlie 4, give way straight ahead to the restaurant, 75 Whiskey. Four, the restaurant and then is take Charlie the down to yep. uh, Piper. Yeah, Have a great day. Uh, Charlie 4 oh, yeah. oh, we have never taken you to any of those restaurants, these type of restaurants. Like 420 Usually, what I've been to is. Uh, Right traffic, one to right. I don't remember the name. 428. In Arkansas. Oh, Albatross. Um, Albatross. Uh, yeah. Welcome to Cannon. Traffic in sight, following them. And everyone else, welcome to Vero Beach. Woo! Hope you enjoyed this flight. One, two left. And this is gonna be As a always, if you like this video, hit that thumbs up and that subscribe button. The biggest comment we can receive is your subscription to the channel. And be sure to ring that bell for notification. That's how you get alerts for new videos like this and more. The algorithm doesn't always tell you. Unless you hit the alerts, and even then, it's questionable. So, anyhow, guys, until next time, let's uh, run inside, get some food, and uh, we'll talk about more avionics on the next flight. Bye, guys.